Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing the requested tutorial of the slime block flying machine airplane I made. I'm actually just going to start off by putting up the timestamp of exactly when I start building this thing. If you just want to skip to that, but if you want to stick around and hear a few more things about this, you definitely can. So I'm just going to start out in the spawn of the world, and this is a world that will be down in the description if you want to download it yourself. And so there's a few things down here, some bits of information that I have right here, a few different things kind of showing some different aspects of the flying machine. This one I think is super cool. It shows how you're able to move more than just 12 blocks, which is the piston push limit. So that's this thing right here. And we also have on this side a little flying machine. So if you go to the button that the flying machine is parked at, and you click it, it will actually launch it across and so we'll go to the other side. And this kind of just shows how flying machines actually work. And then other than that, we have the resources right here. This elevator that takes you up to the main airplane, which is this one right here, that's the one you could fly in and launch and everything. There's also a few other little airplanes I scattered around just for the aesthetic. And so let's start off with the materials you're going to need to actually build this thing. So I have this split up into two different categories. I have creative, which is pretty much just a single item from each type of item you'll need. So here's everything you need, so you can just have it all selected and ready to go. And if you actually want to build this in survival, which I probably wouldn't recommend, is it's a pretty huge build, and once you launch it, it's kind of hard to really do anything with because it's only able to go in that one direction. This thing only flies in one direction. And then once you do that, there's just really no use for it, so I definitely wouldn't recommend it. But here's all the materials if you want to do that, and one thing is these quartz right here could be replaced with any other block as long as it has the stair and slab variant. You don't necessarily need that, but it's definitely something I think is pretty important. Other than that, we have all the other materials here. So if you want to build this in survival, this is the exact amount of materials you need of everything. So in just a little, we'll get started building, but I wanted to show some more stuff. So right here we have the plane, and this is actually a plane I set up so you could go right inside here, and you could actually launch it and fly in it. So if you click this button, which I'll probably show in just a second, you could launch the entire plane, which gets it moving, and then another thing is to stop it, and I'll show this once it's actually moving. You want to place an immovable object, which could be bedrock, obsidian, a furnace, a dispenser, or anything like that that won't be able to be moved. And you want to place that, and I'll actually go grab a block real quick, right here. And so that will stop it, it will run into this observer here and keep it from moving. I think you could also place it here because the way it works is it puts this observer right on top of this block here so that would also run into it. So pretty much you just want to stop it by placing an immovable object right at the flying machine so it doesn't scrunch the whole plane up and kind of break it. And so also I have another plane over here which I'll show you why I have this right here in just a second. So this is just something I made for people who want to download the world and I'll show you what it does because I think it's actually super cool. So I'm going to launch the plane now, but before we do that, I think we need a few passengers. We could actually put a guy in the toilet. We could take a guy, put him here. Looks like they all like the toilets, I don't know. Okay, so we could put some more people up here. This could be first class. And then we'll have the pilot right here. So there we go, that's looking pretty good. And so you got to watch out for this piece. This is actually so you could jump out of the airplane if you need to ever. But I think it's time to launch this. So I'm going to mute the game audio so it's not super loud with all the pistons firing, but here we go. And there it goes, it lags up a decent amount because you have this giant flying machine going up way high in the sky, and that's causing a lot of lighting updates. But I think this thing is just super cool. What the heck? Okay, well that was a bit unexpected, but there you can see it traveling through. It's leaving the little docking station we had right there, and it's traveling off in this direction. Let's go take a look at all the people inside the airplane and see if they're doing alright. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm surprised those people in the bathroom, I thought they might fall out. And another really fun thing to do on this airplane is to jump over these little things here and ride on the roof of it. I think that's pretty fun. Oh, that was weird. Okay, so one thing I want to show you guys is how you could actually stop this thing. I was talking about it earlier. And so to do that, all you need to do is place an obsidian right on top of this block here. And so you could place it a bit ahead. If it's an immovable object, it won't get stuck to the slime. So it will just gradually move back and end up stopping it here. And so the reason you need to stop it at the flying machine and not just by putting a block way in the front is because you want these to have a gap right here and if you put it in the front the flying machine would continue to kind of crash into itself and scrunch the whole plane up and then it wouldn't be able to move again without doing a bit of trickiness and then to restart that thing again you just have to place it on this observer right here and so one thing to look at is you want to place it on the back observer if this flying machine is together but if I actually do this I'll see if I can manage it and the flying machine looks a bit like this you actually want to place it on this one again to start it so I'll place it right here and break it again real quick to add one pulse in. 
and that should get the plane going again. And then just to show what happens, we put a block in front, so I think this is super funny. We'll feed a block right in. Actually, should I feed a block into this little Hulk here? I don't know. I'll probably just put it on its nose. So if you put a block right there, you can see the plane can't handle it. It all scrunches up, the thing flies apart, and things get pretty messed up. So I'm going to get rid of this plane and show you the cool feature I was talking about. Oh my, this does not look good. Another thing is if you want to play around with this airplane, a pretty important thing to know is how to get rid of it quickly. And so to do that, all you need to do is drag out a column from the fin right there, which is the highest point of the airplane. Drag it all the way out so you get past the wing. And now we have all three areas we need for the fill command, which is past the wing here, above the fin there, and also on the back. And so then all you need to do is type in slash or T slash, and then you want to do the fill command by typing in this. And then you want to hit tab, 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 which puts in those three numbers there, and hit enter. And so now you got your first number, then you want to go to the complete opposite corner of the airplane, so I'm going all the way from the top over there to the bottom down here, and you want to go so you're in front of the airplane there, you're to the side of the wing, and you're just below it. I'm going to go down a bit more. And then you just need to hit T, click on this here, and turn in your new set of stuff by hitting tab, 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 or clicking on it right here. And then you have the whole plane selected, and then you just want to do fill air, and that will destroy the entire plane so you don't have to go break it block by block. Haha. <laughs> Sorry, but we can't have any survivors. So now here's the final thing I want to show you before we start work on building this thing, and that's just how to summon a new plane. You launched your plane already, it did whatever it did, it crashed or whatever, you put your villagers in it and all of that, and then you filled it in with air to get rid of it, and now you need a new one. And so that's why we have this guy right here, and this button right here activates the command block, which will actually clone this guy right into this area perfectly. So if I hit that button, you can see everything pops right into place and you have a whole new plane ready to go. So if I hit that launch button again, it will launch a brand new plane. And so all you have to do is get rid of anything that's in front of it, which will probably just be the other planes you've launched. And you're ready to go by putting in a new one. And just a quick bug to point out is if you click on the button again, it kind of does something weird where these wings get spit out a bit. But if not, the whole thing's ready to go. And if this happens, all you have to do is place in a block real quick right in front of that observer. And that pulls the wing back in. And so that's it for everything I wanted to say, and we can now get to work on building this thing. So just filled in a block right over here, because that's where we're going to build our brand new plane. But to look at this one real quick, this is the first thing we're building. This is the very back of the plane, and this is the little fin. So I'm going to start off by placing this slime block right here. So here we go, I'm going to place in that first block. And the direction I'm going to have this thing facing is so the front is over in this direction, and it's going to be the same orientation as this one over here. So to start off, place in your first two just like this. This is the top highest part of the fin. And we're going to place two off the bottom of that and two more again. And then after that, we're going to place another one right here and towards the area of the front of the plane. And then just two more off of this so you get a weird little shape just like this. And then another slime block right here. And now we need an observer, so you want to go look at the side. And since I'm building in the same exact orientation as this one, I'm going to place an observer right here. And then you need a non-sticky piston that goes right here. And now I'm going to be placing a slime on the front of that piston right there, and then a sticky piston facing backwards just like that. So that way we have the sticky piston and the normal piston facing each other, but just offset. And now I'm going to place in another observer facing in the complete opposite direction as the other one here. So that way this dot points into the sticky piston, and then the dot from the old observer points into the normal piston. And now I'm going to place in another observer off this slime block right here, staying in line with this because we want the dot to be facing completely outwards. And then in front of that, we're going to be placing a normal piston. And then in front of that, we're going to be placing in just a filler block that will break in just a second to place a slime off of that. And I'm going to place two slime off the side here and here. And then I'm going to place in another two slime just like that. So we get a total of five slime and a line stretching across. And now we're going to be placing in some more observers. So another one here, 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 and then a piston in front of each one of those. And then once again, you want to have all the redstone pointing into the pistons. So we're going to place those three pistons just like that. And also, I should have mentioned this earlier, but once we build this thing, I'll just put up some pictures of some of the pretty key components. It's that way, if you'd rather build it that way by looking at a picture and building it off of that, you could do that as well. But anyway, we could get started on the third module, so I'm going to be placing in another filler block just there, with a slime block in front of that one. And then on top of this block, I'm going to be placing in the, your quartz, or whatever main block you want to be using. A few others I'd recommend is diorite or maybe stone bricks. That would be the entire theme of your airplane, that entire plane would be a diorite airplane. That's just another way to do it, because I know that quartz is a super expensive block if you want to build this on survival. 
But now I'm going to be placing in some more quartz. I'm going to place in another filler block just like that, and one in front of it, and same on the other side, so filler block and then your actual block, break the filler block, and so we're ending up with a little system just like this. So now we could get to work on some of the more observers and pistons. So on every single one of these blocks, I'm going to place another observer. So all the dots are pointing in front again. And same as the previous times, we're just going to place pistons in front of each one of those. And now we're going to be placing in our only bit of terracotta we have for this entire thing. And so go to the middle piston right here, place it on your filler block, another block like that. And then break the filler block, so that way you have your terracotta just in place like that. Then place a slime on top of the terracotta, as well as on the bottom. And then next you want to place quartz on all three sides that are still open at the slime. And you want to do that for both the top and bottom. And now we have two more blocks to go. And so that's just another block right in front of this one here. So filler block, main block. And we're going to get this bit of a diamond shape. So another block just like that. And now you have this diamond shape with your terracotta in the center and your two slime blocks there and there. So now we have more observers and pistons to place in, so we're going to be placing in an observer and piston in front of that terracotta, so that's what it's getting pushed by, and we're going to be placing one at the very top with the piston, and pretty much on every other one of these quartz, and those are all getting pushed by the previous pistons, but you just make sure to fill in each one of these. And so now we get to place in the very last module, the engine, and then we'll get to work on the airplane body. So for that, just place in a filler block with the slime block in front of it on the edge of this diamond right here. And you want to do that for all these little points of the diamond. So filler block, filler block, slime here, here. And you want to have a total of four slime, just one in front of each one of these corner blocks. And then after that, you want to fill in quartz and pretty much everywhere in the circular shape. Kind of filling in the, all the slime except leaving out these corners so i'm going to do that on each one of these spots here so leaving out that corner there filling in all of this leaving out that corner and you should end up with a shape just like this and so now we get to go crazy with our observers and pistons because we're going to be placing an observer as well as a piston in front of it on each and every one of these blocks so make sure to fill in all that so you get the same shape and then do the same with all the pistons so we're doing pretty well now, we have the entire engine all finished on our one right over there. And so now we're going to start work on the body, which this first piece is right here. So let's head over and do that. We want to do the same with the previous things and place in the filler blocks, that way we get that gap in between the piston. And then after that we're just going to be filling in the entire area in the same shape as our observer's pistons and the quartz behind that, and just fill in a whole new section of quartz like this. And so now to make the counting a bit easier, I'm going to fill in the window spots first, which will end up in a line right here. This is where all the glass ends up. And so to do that, you want to have your first quartz right here, and then your second one off of that. And then you want to have a window, quartz, a window, and you want to have a total of four windows. And so once you get all those, that's your entire body so far. And then you need an observer piston bit. So you want to go and place an observer right off the glass there, and then a piston in front of that. And then you want to repeat that just the same on the other side. And so the reason we have it all set up like that is because this piston is actually pushing this block right here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And you're pretty much getting right up to the piston push limit. And so now we could fill in the rest of the body. And so to do that, you'd want to go up all the way with your quartz, all the way up to where you have the observer and piston. And you want to do that on all these edge blocks here. So that means this block here, 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 as well as all these ones down here. So all I've done since the previous clip is just extended out all those blocks I placed in. And now we need to add in some more observers and pistons. And so that goes all the way along the whole outer ridge just like this. And then place in a piston off of each one of those just like on the previous ones. So I think we'll do the interior last but there's some more mechanics that go on in here that actually involve some pretty important stuff. But I think we'll finish up the whole outer shell and go back in later and finish up the interior. So to start on the next segment, we're going to be placing in a filler block and then our slime block just like that. And this is actually what's going to extend out into the wing. But before we do that, we want to add in a window here. So it goes slime, glass, then quartz, and then another glass, then quartz, then glass, then observer, and then piston. The reason that this segment's a bit shorter than this one back here is because we actually need to take some of those blocks that were previously being pushed out in front here and use those instead to push the wing along and so we're pretty much just shorting this down to leave enough piston push room for that wing to be added in. But anyway I'm going to add in the other side and so in order to do that we just need to extend out this one the same as we have it over here and then that finishes it up for both the little window segments. And then just the same as the one before, I'm going to be adding in the whole outer rim of blocks, and this is just the shell of the airplane. So I'm going to be extending those ones out all the way, and I'm going to do the same for the bottom. 
As that's the shell all done, now I'm just going to do the same thing we did before and add in all the subservers and pistons, and then once we get this all done, we'll go back and work on those wings. So to start these wings off, you want to place two slime off of the slime you added into the wall right there, and then below the last block of slime, you want to add in an observer with that red dot pointing in front again, and then a piston in front of that one just like we've done for a ton of the different things here, and that's the start of it, that's what's going to be pushing your whole wing along. And right now I'm just doing the same on the other side, just adding in the same four blocks. So now for the wing, I'm going to start adding in those blocks. So that's just a filler block, a slime block right out here, just one block in front of that piston. And I'm going to extend that out three blocks, and I'm going to extend it out down one, over one, down one. And then I'm going to add in the next observer, which is an observer right here. So the next observer I'm going to add in goes right here, and so that's the red dot now is facing behind, because we're actually going to be placing in a sticky piston here. This is our first sticky piston, besides the one that went into the core flying machine, and that goes right up flush with the two slime blocks we have here. And so for this next slime block, you want to place it directly on that one sticky piston, because unlike the non-sticky pistons where the piston has to move forward and then it moves the next module on, it actually gets moved forward first and then it drags the module along, so pretty much you need to have the slime block right next to it. But then after that, I'm building the same exact slime structure we have right here, and so that looks identical. And then after that, we want to do the same observer sticky piston thing, build the next module, and you're extending that out so you have four modules. So we have one, two, I'm working on the third one, and then we'll add in a fourth. And so that's something you could have be longer if you wanted, but that just determines the length of the wing. And so now that we got in all the redstone for it, all the pistons and observers, we want to add in a bit of decoration. So for that, I'm going all the way out to the end segment, and you can see I actually don't have an observer sticky piston thing at the end, because we have nothing else to drag along. So what I'm going to add instead is a quartz block right on the end there, as well as some here and here, and then just going along the whole front of it. And we're going to do that same sort of thing for these here, so that's three blocks on each one of these. And that kind of just adds a front to it. I'm pretty sure we could do that. Let me actually go check real quick. Yes, I just checked and you are able to add that block in right there. And so that finishes up the whole wing segment. Now I'm just going to repeat this exact thing, but obviously mirrored on the other side. And so that's going to look exactly like this one here. So this is what it should look like once you get in that second wing. And so now we really don't have too much left to do. I'm going to add in the third module of the body, which is this thing here, and then the interior as well. And so that third module is the same sort of thing as that first one with a little bit of a change to it. And so for that, you want to place on the space right here and then your first two quartz blocks. And then you want to have it go windows, quartz, windows, quartz. And then after that, you actually want to grab an iron trap door. I'm going to place it on the top half right here. And so that's actually the little door that I have to get into this thing. And so you don't need this at all, but I think it's a pretty cool feature. But once you add in that, you want to add in another quartz, another block of glass, another quartz, and then your observer piston. That's what it should look like with both those segments added in. And I actually just realized these look like really funny eyes. Like their plane just has eyes that got launched out. Anyway, what we're going to work on next is the body again, and so for that you want to place in your whole ring of quartz, and you actually want to extend this all the way up to the end, because you actually only need to add in two more observer piston mixes, but I'll show you guys that once I get the rest of the body added in. And another thing actually with the door is that you need to place it in another iron trap door right here, and the reason that you need these iron trap doors is because they actually act as a spacer, so as this piston's back here pushing it along, it's this block pushing this block pushing the glass, and it's pushing everything along, and if you didn't have an iron trap door here there'd be nothing to push this next block, so what would actually happen is this block right here would get crammed up against this one, it wouldn't have anything holding that space for it. And so the reason you add in these is to hold that space, but it also still gives you the opportunity to travel through it. So I just did the same for the other door as well, and now that we have the blocks flush at the end, right up against the observer and piston we have here, I want to show you where you actually have to add in the two others, and so that's just another observer here and here, so on each of the little middle segments of these three block things. And then you just want to place your piston in front of each one of those again, and now you actually get to extend out these blocks right past it, so that way it goes flush with the face of the piston. So now before we get to work on adding in the quartz, I'm going to place in the two windows we have. And so those just go on the inner segment of these two middle pieces. So now for the quartz, you want to follow the body shape all the way along up for the first two blocks. And so do that on every single piece, just going around the entire thing. 
and then after that you want to start to narrow it down so that's going to be a block right below the glass on this side below the glass on this side and then above the glass above the glass and then the final piece you have is just to add in the little nose which i place in right here and so that's kind of it for the airplane that's the whole thing fully working the thing would all travel right now you'd be able to activate it and watch the whole thing travel and i think we might actually do a test just to make sure i didn't mess anything up because that would be pretty bad and so that's the whole outer shell for the airplane. The only thing we have left to do is the interior. So pretty much just adding in all those different seats. But yeah, once again, if you just wanted an empty airplane, this would be it all finished up. Okay, so let's do our test fire. But before we do that, I'm going to grab an immovable object so we could stop this thing. I'm really hoping this thing is all built correctly because if it wasn't, that doesn't really mean anything for you guys. That just means I have to go back and change up some clips to fix whatever I messed up on. And it's kind of a big deal. But let's see, I'm going to place in this block real quick. Oh, that's looking good. The whole thing's moving, nothing's getting all jammed up. Ah, that's such a relief. Everything is looking like it's working super well. And so to stop that, once again, you place in your block right here. And that stops everything. And yeah, that's just perfect. That's exactly how you want it to be working. So to get started with the interior, I'm going to work on the bathroom. And so obviously this is optional. You don't need your little bathroom in your airplane. But I think it's super funny and it's a cool addition. And so now I'm adding in those two seats which are facing each other, which is a little weird for the privacy of using this thing, but we don't have much room so that's what we're going to go with. And then I'm placing in these trapdoors because what these are actually going to be doing is pushing trapdoors which are going to be occupying these blocks here, and so you need to have that otherwise the trapdoors would just get pulled right to the back. And so I'm going to do that for all these spots right here, it's five different spots. And so once you do that you have a total of seven blocks that are able to be pushed further along. And so those seven blocks are all going to be trapdoors facing just like this. I want to place in all those and these act as the little privacy boards. And those cover up all the other trapdoors and the little toilets. And so this is what I was trying to talk about. It was probably super unclear. But these trapdoors have to be here in order to push these ones further along. Because otherwise these would just get slammed right to the back as soon as the flying machine starts moving. It's kind of a weird thing but that's just the way the flying machines work. You need to have those filler blocks to move the other things along. And so speaking of those pushing blocks, I'm going to be using white carpet as the main one for this thing because it's pretty low profile and it blends in pretty well with the smooth quartz. And so what this actually does is the same thing as these chairs and these trapdoors and it pretty much means that when I add in a chair like this, it's going to be able to push it. Actually not so much this chair, but if I add in a carpet here, it would be able to push this chair along. And so it pretty much means this block pushes the toilet, which pushes the trapdoor, the chair, the carpet, the chair, and I think you guys get the idea. But for this thing, you want to extend out the white carpet in the middle row all the way up, but not on top of the observer. And then for the chairs along the side, you want to have it go trapdoor, chair, carpet, chair, and carpet, then chair, and then carpet again. And I apologize if I'm doing a pretty terrible job at explaining these things, but saying chair and carpet and all this stuff, it honestly gets pretty confusing. But let's carry on. So we have all of our chairs in place, they should look just like this. And one thing to watch out for is you want to have the chairs so they're not in line with the glass. You want to have the glass at these little open segments with the carpet. And so the reason I want it like that is first of all is that's the way I have it all built on the one over there. And second of all it's because you could go up on these little segments right here and look out the window. And also while you're sitting on the seat you kind of get a good view and you're able to look forward a bit. And I think it works out pretty well. But now what we're going to work on is a pretty strange segment. And so that requires three stairs just like this. And I'm using stairs so you can walk up it like this. So these aren't meant to be chairs or anything. And the reason I'm doing that is because just like the walls here, how you need to have your blocks, and then in the next segment of observers and pistons, in order to push it along, you need to do the same for the floor. If you just have those carpets extending all the way to the front, it would be way over the piston push limit. And so that's why you need to add in this little segment here in order to renew the piston push power. And so for that, you want to add in observers so the faces are all facing right into the stairs we just added in. And then in front of those observers, just like on every other observer, we're going to have our three pistons. And then that acts as a little floor segment in order to avoid this gap. You don't want to be falling out that as you're flying in the airplane. And that also acts as its next push segment in order to push the whole next segment of these chairs and carpet. And so now continuing on, we need to grab some slabs. And so those slabs are what's going to be pushing your carpet along and they also act as just a way for you to kind of walk straight up that and not have to worry so much about getting stuck in there. So if you had carpet you would have to go up against here and jump and as those pistons are extending and doing all kinds of stuff it gets to be pretty tricky. 
So you add in those three slabs, you want to leave a space just as you leave a space for everything else. And then you want to place a chair right in front of each of the two side segments. And then you want to extend the carpet all the way up to the observers again. And then a carpet in front of these two chairs, two more chairs, and then two more carpet. And so now we're going to repeat this little thing and kind of onto this segment here. So that's another three stairs and then you want to have your observers in front of those stairs with the dots all facing towards the front of the airplane, three pistons in front of that, and then your slabs one block in front of the piston faces. And so now you could add in your carpet and stairs again. And so for that you're going to start off by adding in three carpet right in front of those slabs, then uh, two chairs. And then I'm just going to extend the middle carpet all the way up to and on top of this observer right here. And then it's just the same sort of thing of filling in the carpet and the stairs along the sides. And then another important alignment thing is you want to make sure that the carpet aligns with these trapdoors so that way you're able to get in and out the store without running into a chair. And so I'm just going to continue on building up each one of these and the final chairs should end up I'm pretty sure right there. And so I was right about the chairs ending right here and I'm actually going to add in another carpet so that way you have two carpet in front of the final chairs. And then for this spot, we want to grab another iron trap door. And that iron trap door is going to go right on top of this piston. We're also going to be placing an iron trap door on top of this slide block. And now I think we have our final two blocks to place in, which is the passenger and then I guess the pilot of the plane. And so that goes right in front of this carpeted block right here and here. And I hope you guys stuck with me for that entire thing. That was a whole lot of talking on my part, and it probably ended up being pretty confusing. But I think that's the whole plane all finished up. And yeah, there you go. Now you have your very own slime block flying machine airplane. And this thing uh, I think is a ton of fun. I've been in it with some of my siblings, flying through this thing, spawning in puffer fish, trying to avoid them, and really just having a ton of fun with it. And so I hope it's a cool addition to your world or whatever you're using it for. Because I'm really pretty proud of this thing, and I think it just turns out so awesome. So let's do our final test. If this all launches and it travels forward for more than about 10 blocks, that means the thing should be working. So here we go. Oh, that was pretty dumb. Alright, so here goes attempt number two. And let's see. All the carpet should stay intact. The whole thing's moving forward. None of the wing segments are getting left behind. Yeah, I think that's gotta be it. Yeah, everything looks just how it's supposed to. You guys requested this video so i hope it turned out pretty awesome i had a ton of fun making it especially this world here i think this is a super awesome world i hope you guys enjoy your brand new airplane and that's it i'll see you guys in the next one huge thanks for watching see you guys later and it seems to be a classic by now to remember something right after recording my outro but i'm just going to go around this thing kind of giving a tour of it for anyone who would rather build it just by getting glances of it and different angles of it so i'll do that now just playing some music over it but yeah, once again, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.